Okay, YouTube. So, so here we go. We have a new machine which is Android 4, and in this machine over here, we see a kind of Android phone running. We need to exploit and find our way to root that phone. It seems that we are exploiting an Android phone, and it might seem that this is a different challenge. But remember that Android 4 is running like any other Linux machine. It runs on kernel or Linux kernel. So let me explain before uh, diving into the challenge. Let me explain the topology over here. So we see we have the Kali Linux machine, and we have our target, which is Android 4. So here I identify a couple of things. So we have the uh, here we have the ports, the open ports, and the associated services, and we have the tools that we need to use in order to have root access. And the objective is to get root on Android 4. Okay. And here we start with the workflow. First, we need to identify the target IP address. So let's go and start our work. Okay, so we need first to identify and find the IP address. So we can do so by using nmap, using a ping scan on the network, which is not recommended on real on real world scenarios. But since we are doing practice, twenty four. Okay, so don't be confused with the names over here, they are not accurate. So the IP address for my machine is um, 5, okay, and for my, main, for my machine, config, so we are running on point 0.7, so Point seven over here, which is the Kali machine. Point five, which is the okay. It's, okay, although it although it says here it's Apple, but it's not Apple. So the IP is one point five, and let me scan now with Nmap. I'm gonna use Steel scan, scan all the ports, and show the versions of the services. Type the IP address five. Okay. So now we are on step two, which is scanning the target. Basically, in this challenge, uh, I forgot to say that the vulnerabilities covered is Android ADB RCE. Okay. So ADB is kind of feature running on Android devices, and that let you connect to the Android device remotely. So even if you don't have it on your device uh, readily, okay, you can connect to your Android device if this feature is enabled on your device. You can connect it remotely from any device, anywhere, any anytime. So this service is vulnerable and in this challenge we're gonna show how to show you how to exploit the service if it is enabled on an Android phone. Okay, let me launch a browser. So basically, this is the web page hosted on the Android machine. And it seems that this page doesn't have any hints or doesn't have any kind of um, clues about how to proceed further if you go and 
view the page source nothing over here so with regards to the web server or to the web page on the Android host uh, this is not your way this is not <coughs> This is not your way for getting root or for exploitation because there is nothing over here, no comment entries, no registration, no logins, no post requests. I mean, they like, we like post, as you can see, we like post things only, but I haven't figured out anything that could be taken advantage of in order to find something. Okay, so the scan finished, and let me go to show you here what we have okay so we have the free CIV service and we have the HTTP and we have the SSH okay if we are to search or to look for an exploit for these services using the version let me search exploit um, PHP CLI server I don't think that there is a vulnerability for this PHP CLI Okay, let me see drop beer. So drop beer. Okay, let's check the version we have on the Android host. Two thousand fourteen sixty six. Mm. Okay, so nothing over here. So we still have the FreeCIV. Okay, and if you search on Google for FreeCIV, okay, you will find that this service is associated with the vulnerability which is covered in our channel, which is ADB. Okay. So now you need to find a way. So our next step is to identify the vulnerable service. The vulnerable service is basically guys free CIV, okay, which is as I said associated with the R the Android ADB RCE. So the next step is to exploit. Okay, how can we exploit? Basically, let me go on on here and show you the page which is drop it seven okay this page shows how to exploit the ADB vulnerability on Android devices so basically you use Metasploit for this okay so let me go here launch the MSF console but I'm not gonna use uh, Metasploit for this but I'm gonna show you how to set your parameters set your options in order to use Metasploit for this exploit to work Alright, so let me copy. Okay, not for me. So we're gonna use this directly. Okay, use the exploit taken from Rabbit 7 page. Show options. All right. So we need to set the R host, which is the Android machine. Okay. And we need to set the L host and the payload. So let's go and set this up. So set R host my IP address, which is the Kali machine. 
point seven. Set the payload to be Linux ARM payload. Set the L host. I think I've made I have made a mistake. Okay. So the L host is my machine. And our host is the Android machine, not my machine. So I have made something wrong regarding the IP address, which is point five. Okay, so here's your parameter. You just need to type exploit. Exploring as background job. Okay, let me show the options again. Show options. L host 1.7. Okay, let me change the port or the L port set and port all right exploit okay let me leave this here it says it's connected to the device and let me show you the other way how to achieve this or how to get the exploit working so you're gonna use a tool called ADB if it is not installed on your system, just write sudo opt get and install adb and hit enter, okay? Now, next thing is to use adb edge to see the help. How can we use adb to connect to the Android device? Remember that this, this service is all about connecting to the Android device remotely. So, to ease the uh, situation, imagine that I have my Android phone lost or my Android phone is broken. I need to find a way to connect to the Android phone using the command lines tools. So my tool or the tool to go is ADB. So, so the ADB over here shows the help commands that we need to use. So ADB, we need to connect right now to the device. So in the help sheet or in the help guide, there is a command which is adb connect host and the port. So let's go ahead and type this adb connect. The host is 192.168. And the port enter already connected. Okay, ADB. Um, now you need to invoke shell. Okay, so here we have a command for shell. So let me write shell. Okay, so now we have shell access on the Android device. ID. Okay. So here we list the files on the Android phone, and we are in the directory, which is the main directory for the Android phones. And we can see the current boulders and the files listed under this directory in which we are having shell. Okay, so the next thing 
or the next step is to escalate our privilege. Uh, where the mouse? Pseudo, so the regular typical way to escalating your privilege is to write su or sudo minus l sudo not found so su okay so our privilege simply has been escalated to root access so id root okay so let me list the files Okay, let's go now to data to see what we have over there. So in data we have those files and we have root. So let's go to root and cat flag. You got root body. Okay. So now we have root access, the machine is done, and simply the machine is all about the ADB feature on Android phone. So if you have your Android phone enabled the feature of ADB, go ahead and disable it because it's gonna it could be exploited easily. Um, but there is something I want to know over here. Okay, let me check the meta exploit. Okay. The meta slot seems to work hard for this. I don't know what's happening. So if you tried meta exploit for this challenge, just comment in the video down how it worked for you. For me, it is it is stuck and connecting the device. I don't know what's the problem over here. So over here, let me go to SSH. empty uh, okay empty hmm. okay so that's it and I hope you learned from this machine and again see you in the next video